Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this particular video which is really important for windows 11 guy because nvidia released a new driver update for all the nvidia graphics uh, users so if you want better gaming experience overall and uh, graphics quality experience at the optimal level i think you need to know about it which is really important i will give you the gameplay samples as well that how it is performing in the real world scenario so what you need to do is just go to google and go to nvidia drivers just write nvidia drivers because they just updated it and you will understand it so if i zoom in as you can see nvidia driver download section as you can see if you go to drivers and geforce driver you will get all of those things so the product type which is geforce you can select this and you, you have i have nvidia gtx 960 4 gb variant so it is 900 series but if you have like rtx 30 series 20 series you can select all of those things and the product model i'm selecting is 960 and the operating system which is the important factor because nvidia released it for windows 11 as you can see we can select windows 11 directly from it so which is nice and this is the main spec of it for your kind information currently i'm using the beta version of windows 11 as you can see the version windows feature experience 1000.22000.194.0 which is the latest beta build and the download type you can select the studio driver or the game ready driver i recommend it for the gamers which actually optimize all the game uh, for you which is really important you can record as you can see i'm also recording using this software you can take photos you can select screenshots you can do a lot of things you can also live stream within using this kind of software and even if you have the rtx series you can uh, do uh, really really nice streaming based on this graphics card so i suggest you to use game ready driver for that and if you don't need a game ready driver you can uh, select studio driver I already downloaded it I already have it so in case it would be different for me to run my GeForce experience which is the software as you can see the GeForce experience and I'll give you samples of GTA 5 and the PUBG so that you can understand how it performs and if you go to the setting as you can see in the graphics card then the driver version we have is GeForce uh, 472.12 which is the latest of them and my processor and the RAM and the display resolutions all of those things and as you can see if we go to the in-game play setting you can connect it you can record it you can broadcast live you can take photos you can do all of those things even the performance monitoring so all of those features that you want you can get it from the game ready drivers if you go to the driver section as you can see this is the place where you will update it as you can see microsoft windows 11 game ready driver you can download it i already have it and if you click on this this button you have a studio driver and the game ready driver and the game ready driver is provide the best gaming experience and studio driver i already told is for creative application so as you can see let's check out the gta 5 performance which is really important after this graphics card update the driver update so if you go to the setting as you can see if i go to the graphics okay and if you see it is directx 11 and fxaa on and i'm playing on high texture quality as you can see very high every almost everything is very high in 1080p setting and see how the it, it performs let's go let's go to the most intense situation where you can see the performance oh my god this car is super fast and i think you guys can fully understand how the performance of the windows 11 in this latest nvidia drivers that i recommend you to download and install as fast as possible so that you get the most optimal performance as you can see i'm touching almost 90 80 to 90 fps average and cpu uses of 30 percent which is really really awesome and the ram uses is only like 8 to 9 gb which is awesome and i'm playing it on very high texture remember that and the gpu uses is 100 percent because my my awesome processor is giving the full potential to the gpu and my gpu is quite old six years old it is gtx 960 4 gb variant so if you have 4 gb variant of it you get a very good performance as you can see it's very very good performance you get very optimal performance with better graphics as well so at night it looks so beautiful and the night situation is also very intensive so overall the performance is amazing on this latest drivers even or even you shoot you kill people everything in intense situation it also looks really nice My god, the performance is awesome. 
Oh no 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 So even, even some cops just comes to you and want to kill you Even in this intense situation your rapier doesn't drop too much Which is insane So as you can see the whole idea of upgrading your graph and, and drivers are so important in modern games but before that, if you see, the FPS was not that good. It was around 70 to 75, but now it touched 90 and even 100 sometimes, which is really good. So as you can see, I started my MS Afterburner to see what, what is the performance of this game, which is PUBG Mobile on emulator and playing this game. So let's try and see how it performs, okay? Because this emulator game doesn't utilize the full potential of your graphics card, but how better your, GPU or your CPU is, you cannot use the full potential of your GPU, which is normal. So as you can see, the CPU uses uh, 20 to 21 percent in intense situation, and the RAM uses 8 GB, and the GPU uses 30 to 33 percent, which is amazing for this kind of game, which is amazing. And the RAM is also in within the, within the limit. I have 16 GB RAM and i5 10400, which is 10th gen i5 processor and GTX 960 graphics card. Pretty normal, but the processor is really good here. That's why I'm getting a so much better performance because the emulator performance depends on CPU. Okay, butter, butter is smooth. It's butter is smooth performance, guys. Even in the highest intense situation, the FPS doesn't go below 80. Oh no, I got out of ammo. Indians. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't kill me. Yes, we got 13 kill. Wow, what a nice performance. So that's all for the video, guys. I hope you guys like it and share and subscribe as much as possible to get the most out of my videos and get the more knowledge that you need. And I'm going to continuously update and give you the more latest information about the NVIDIA latest update of Windows 11 and the more performance optimization of this. So thanks for watching. I'll be coming with the next video.